Hey everyone, what's up? Markus from Future Studio University here. Welcome to another video in our happy series. In this video, we will go all in on route handling and how to drive traffic to your server. We'll walk through the essentials of routing and how to add routes for different kinds of HTTP methods and how to define the route handler, how to add additional configurations and options. And before we dive into the code and create multiple routes ourselves, I want you to know that you can find the tutorial in written format and the code for easy copy and pasting on our website. It's the first thing in the description below. Check it out. Okay, so what I've done is I've already prepared a skeleton that requires Harpy as a dependency, creates a server and adds a connection on localhost with port 3000. It starts a server and prints the connection information. So what you want to do is to add the different routes. And what you need to add is the server.route method to add different routes. So you can specify an object defining a route, or you can specify an array containing multiple objects. But we will get to that, we will get back to that later. For now, let's just add a single route. So a route consists of three or four parts. The first three parts are the actual HTTP method, which might be get or post or put or delete or whatever you, you name it. The second part is the path, where you define the request path. Let's say our requests for this route are allocated at the root path and you want a handler handling the request. And of course, you need to send a reply. And that, that are the three essential and required components to declare a route. So in your route handler, you have to add the functionality to respond. And that you can do using the reply interface and just send a simple hello future studio string text back to the client. Okay, that's basically all you need to set up for a single route. It's a sem single sample server. It's very convenient. Let's check it out. Let's start it. Okay, you can see the server started at localhost on port 3000. Let's send a request to the server. I'm using the tool called Postman. It's a very convenient tool to test APIs and send requests to your server. I highly recommend to check it out. I will link it in the description below. It's a very great tool. Okay, however, let's send a request to localhost 3000. We defined it as a get, re as a get request. Yeah, and let's see what comes back. And here you go. It's a hello future studio string that we expected and everything works like we expected it to work. Okay, so now what if you want to add a route that accepts post requests? Of course, you can go ahead and define like method for post. It can be the same path because it has, differ has different methods. And we can go ahead and create a new handler that has a request and the reply. Sending a message. Created your item. Because usually the post methods are used to create items or whatever you name it. Okay. Let's restart the server and check it again. So I need to change the method to post and send it. Created your item. Okay, fantastic. Let's let's see. So we have now two different setups for the server.route. And I want to show you a little, a little trick that you can apply to your methods because you can combine different HTTP methods within an array. So if you want to have the same route handler for the post and the put request, you can combine it defining the post and the put and every other method you want to handle with the same handler. 
within this setup. So it's just a single route handling multiple request types. Okay, I will show you that it works correctly. Server so started. I need to change the request HTTP method to put and we will get to create your item. All right. I've mentioned it before that you have two different definitions for server.route and of course, Happy provides a, a little convenience method to combine the routes like this. You can pass an array of routes and I will just do that. All right, there you go. So you can see we have added a, an array to server.route. You have multiple objects for the individual routes, each having its own handler. And you can just add as many routes as you want. So just make sure they don't overlap and you have the different path or HTTP methods. But Happy will tell you if you have something wrong with the route definitions and registration. I will show you that this still works. I need to restart the server. Okay, let's pick up Postman again. Let's send the get request and the post request. All right, yeah, and put it will just reply the same method message as with, with post. Okay, so now yeah, that we have different types of or different HTTP method and different path. So what you might have is is a block and you specify path parameters like having the page and you can do it of course within your routes using happy like this. So path parameters are wrapped into the curly brackets. So if you wanna define a block that has multiple pages, you need to declare the path parameter called page in this example on the specific path. So let's see. I will dive into path parameters in another video. For now, it's just for illustration purposes. And yeah, we will reply the accepted parameter. I mean, it's just a simple and basic server setup, so nothing special here. Okay, as you've seen, I have, ah, let's do it on the, on the get method because we don't want to Let's do it on the get method because we don't want to send any data. So we're requesting the block on a given page and that's absolutely fine. Okay. So you have multiple options for path parameters. As I said, we will dive into this in a later tutorial. Let's check out if it still works. We have the get request on the block. It's on page. 2014. So you can see we have a lot of pages in our blog. It's on page 2014. Everything worked like expected. Okay. Now, one last thing I wanted to show you is that you can apply different configurations and options to your routes. So another keyword is the config. That's what I meant with you have three essential parts in your, in your individual routes and the fourth one is the config. You can apply different tags and tags are interesting for logging. It's like having the block tag. So if you don't want any, any logging on the route for the block, you can keep it out of your logs, but it requires additional information. So apply some tags if you want it, but it's not necessary. So another one could be a description that's maybe necessary when you're documenting your API based on your on your routes. So if you have automatically API generation and defining the docs from, from your server code, from the comments, you can also apply the description within the route config. Okay. 
It's just a simple block page route. Okay, if you want to add any further nodes, that's also possible. You can do that like with using the node property, accepting path parameter for uh, on route block. Okay, so there are multiple options. You can define different configurations but to show you the application of all these configurations, you can just go ahead and research this within the Harpy API documentation. It doesn't affect any of our functionality. So the configuration, at least the ones we defined, doesn't affect the route handler at all. So I can show you again, it still works the same way. Let's change it to, it's just a second request. We want a page two. All right, got it. All right, that's it for today. Let's shortly review what you have learned. So you know how to define individual routes for different HTTP methods. You know how to apply path parameters. You know how to apply configurations, doing individual configurations like authentication, text, description nodes, whatever, you name it. And you can assign an array for HTTP methods to use the same handler and you can register multiple routes with just a single server.route command using an array with individual route objects. Okay, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching the video. We truly appreciate you being around. If you learned something new, give it a like. If you like these videos, if you want to watch more videos within the Happy Series, subscribe to this channel. We hope you're having a great day. Thank you and enjoy coding and make it rock.